Hey friends. So welcome back. We are going to learn how to find the left hand today. So the left hand has a very complicated job actually. Um, there's no frets on the fingerboard. So our fingers have to really develop very sensitive muscle memory for where they go and how they relate to each other. So um, let's go ahead and start by finding the position of the fingers. So what I like to do, make sure that you have your correct setup position. I have a video talking all about that. Um, but let's say, assuming you have that, you're gonna take your hand, see how it's nice and relaxed, fingers straight up, little space right here. You're gonna put that in the neck here and then just slide it all the way back until it can't really go any further. Okay, and um, when you drop your first finger, one, two, three, four, we've got four fingers here and then an open string. So when you drop your first finger, you want it to form a square and you don't want it to be touching any of the other strings. So I'm gonna give you a close up in a second, but just watch what happens if I move my elbow. It moves the finger, right? So we need to make sure that your elbow is at the right position for whatever string you're on. So I'm gonna move you a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so for me, and here's my violin today, when I drop my first finger on the A string, which is my second string right here, my elbow is right about in this position. If I was to go to the G string, that's my bottom one here, I would need to rotate all the way over so I'm not moving the finger. My finger is like a little machine. It has a few hand patterns that it can plug in. This is one of them. This is the basic hand pattern. And if I need to change strings, I'm gonna just move this whole thing wherever it needs to go. So I, I have to be able to rotate from those two points right there, your thumb and your first finger point. And you can see that there's a nice gap right there. Okay, so just relaxed, hanging out, not death gripping. <laughs> And for even more kind of preciseness about where the thumb and first finger go, everyone's a little bit different because everyone's hand is a little bit different. But you wanna find what's comfortable for you. For me, my thumb goes behind a little bit and um, the height of my first finger is touching just a little bit above this bottom crease here against the neck. If I was to move that up here when I drop my first finger, I have too much height and it's too hyperextended. It's on the very, very, it's almost like on the fingernail. And by the way, these are how short your nails should be. If you can cut them even shorter, definitely as short as you can. <laughs> okay, so we want the, the pad slash fingertip to be on the string and you want to form a little square. Not like this, not like this, but like this. Kind of like forming one line right as opposed to this one line one line one line versus one long line okay second finger third finger fourth finger they can all get to the string and you notice my fourth finger is not curved it's actually like one little piece and everyone's fourth finger is different mine sits quite low on my hand and it's, you know, it sits pretty low on my, on my hand. So there's really no way that I can keep this one curved without altering the other fingers really significantly, okay? But you wanna put your fingers in a position where you don't have to be tweaking anything at the end. Like, so for example, often when beginners start, they find fourth finger like this, but that means that you have to, you know, take time to change your position to find fourth finger, and we just don't have time to do that. So you need to find a position that all your fingers can get there. And when you drop them, you're gonna drop them like little hammers. There's no death gripping. You're just dropping them from these little base joints. And when they drop on the string, they really need to cut the string there so that it can be held in place so that it can vibrate when you put the bow on it, if that makes any sense. So. Um, if you kind of remember anything about this, you need to make sure that you start to build good muscle memory for where your hand is. 
we don't usually, and when you're beginning, sometimes your hand moves up here and you just don't notice it. So that's one of the first things to notice is where the position is. And then let's start to notice, you know, the angle of your first finger, making sure it's a square. It's not drooping down, it's not drooping up. And if you're in front of a mirror, you can just check in, remember with those long lines, line, 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 right? Or just one straight line like that. And then you wanna think also about when you put your finger on the string, how that feels, because you want it to be in the same place each time. And you'll see, you see I've got little lines there and I have calluses, which is a hard kind of surface on the finger. And when you have a harder surface, it's gonna be easier rather than like a soft surface to hold the string down. So with time, you know, when you first start playing, your fingers might hurt a little bit and that's okay, okay? Um, when you change strings, you're gonna rotate from here. So you're building a little robot that has, you know, its first little basic hand pattern. And then if it needs to change strings, it just rotates around like here. That way your intonation and your pattern stays consistent. Okay, so I hope that kind of helps you. Um, I will see you in the next video. Please follow me on Instagram, like this video, um, follow me on Patreon if you're interested. It's a dollar to subscribe and each Monday there's a little mini lesson for you there. Uh, Patreon.com slash Violin Viola Masterclass. And if you are looking for a teacher, if you're teacherless, I would love for you to reach out. I love working with you guys. I teach in Philadelphia, but I teach a lot of you guys online. So my website is Violin Viola Masterclass. I'll see you in the next video, you guys. I hope this helped.